All bosses in Tears of the Kingdom ranked from worst to best. Number 8 and the worst boss in my opinion was Macho Rock. This boss just wasn't as fun to fight as the others on this list. I kinda wish it was more of the shark form of the boss than the weird Octo Rock thingy. Number 7 is the Seized Construct. This boss didn't feel as unique as some of the others here. I did like how you fought in a boxing ring though. This boss also kind of reminded me of Kolokdos from Scoured Sword. Number 6 is Marbled Goma. This boss is pretty fun and it's named after a boss from Ocarina of Time. Kinda looks like it too. The design is pretty cool as well. Number 5 is Phantom Ganon. This boss was pretty good but I kinda wish he had a better design. And it would feel more unique if you only fought him once, whereas every time you defeated Gloomhands, he appears. Still a pretty good boss, though. Number 4 is the Demon Dragon. This fight was really cool, and I loved how you rode on Dragon Zelda to fight it. This fight was epic, and a lot better than Dark Beast Ganon in Breath of the Wild. Number 3 is Queen Gibdo. This fight was really fun, and I like bug-type bosses in games. It fit the Sand Temple really well as well. Number 2 is Ganondorf. Ganondorf finally returned in this game and his boss fight was awesome. I liked it a lot better than Calamity Ganon from Breath of the Wild. He's definitely one of the best bosses in this game. And the number 1 best boss in Tears of the Kingdom is Kolgera. This fight was super fun and I loved its design. And again, I love the bug type look of this boss. There's multiple ways you can defeat this boss as well. This boss was awesome. And in conclusion, I just have to say all the bosses in this game were amazing. The Zelda team did great with the bosses in this game in my opinion. But that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you everyone for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!